racial stigmatization has made my skin thicker, and I grew to just accept the fact that many people would come to see me just as my race. And as a Vietnamese American citizen, I have always been proud of my culture and my Buddhist beliefs. But when the COVID-19 pandemic started, things were different. The first act of hate crime during the start of the pandemic that I remember was when I was simply walking down the street with my mask and a group of teenagers screamed racial slurs of chink and gook at me while also coughing at me telling me to go back to China. The COVID-19 pandemic was the first time where I was scared for my life because of the stigmatization of Asians. The pandemic somehow justified the hate towards Asians again and brought out violent actions that grew in numbers. This hate wasn't new though, and it was simply hidden and waiting for the right time to come out. I could feel my blood boil and it took everything inside of me not to snap or educate the teenagers about how there's more than one country in Asia. I walked away being on the brink of tears. I didn't want to show them that I was weak. As time passed, I continued to fear as hate crimes increased among the elder Asian community. I remember thinking how cruel it was for people to attack our elders who have done nothing but sacrifice everything for their children to get a better life. Elders who stay out of their way and mind their own business. Not to mention how plain mess up it was. How would you feel if someone punched your grandma in the face for absolutely no reason? A breaking point was when attacks on nail salons made me fear for my parents' safety. I wanted to cry and break down because I didn't want any harm to occur to my family or anyone I knew. At the same time, I felt there was no time to fall apart. I had to keep it together because expressing emotions or weakness is frowned upon in my culture. And because of this, fear, pain, and sadness built up the pressure on my shoulders. The model of Asians being quiet and hiding in society because we don't want trouble is a mindset me and my generation have to break. The time is now to stand up for ourselves and our elders who have sacrificed everything for us. I am not weak. It is only weak to think that I am.